He receives everyone who comes, just as a poor sinner. Not boasting, not proud, not bringing their own good works. How will we know for sure? If I wanted to know for sure, then it would have to be based on the Word of God who cannot lie. I wouldn't take the name of the word of J.B. Nicholson. I wouldn't cross the street to hear him. If we're not preaching the word of God, we're not worth listening to. Here's what the word of God says. He that has the Son has life and shall not come into judgment, but is already passed from death to life. And God has promised his word. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. I spoke to a gentleman last night for a lengthy period of time and we looked at that verse and he said to me, well, how will I know if he comes in? I said, well, it says right here that if you open the door, you'll feel him come in. He said, it doesn't say that. I said, no, you're right, it doesn't say that. <laughs> I said, how will you know? He thought a long time. And then finally, with a big smile on his face, tears running down his cheeks, he said, because it says it. And then secondly, if I was going to know for sure, it would have to be based on an already finished work, wouldn't it? If there was anything left to be finished, I, I couldn't always be sure that it might be finished or it might be left unfinished. But the great thing is, Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. There's nothing left to be done. The work is done that saves. Number three, if I was going to be sure, it would have to be based on a perfect person. Someone who couldn't fail. Someone who later on down the road couldn't make some serious mistake and bring the whole thing crashing down. I want to tell you that salvation doesn't rest on me. Wherever my salvation rested on me, that's where the whole thing would fall apart. Salvation is of the Lord, start to finish. It rests on a perfect person who can't lie, who can't fail, who can't disappoint us, who always keeps his promise. And then number four, it would have to be based on a universal offer. Over and over and over again, the Bible says, whoever will may come. In fact, when we turn to the very last page of our Bible, we find those words again. And the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and the Bride, that is, all those who have already put their trust in Christ, say, come. And let the one who hears say, come. And let the one who is thirsty come, and whoever will, let him take the water of life freely. There's not an exception. God loved the world. Christ died for the world. And whoever wants to may come.